All right. Hey, guys. Welcome to game three between Art of Turtle and Dark Matter, aka Halcyon. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Art of Turtle. Actually, can I... That's interesting. We'll, we'll leave it red and blue, but I can do the switch here. I, I really appreciate... I'm going to give a shout-out to these guys if they see it later. I really appreciate you guys uh, doing the top versus bottom so I could do the color switch. So here, Art of Turtle's in the green. I'm, I'm going to switch it just because I feel like that midnight blue is a little bit less stylish than this color blue. Dark Matter slash Halcyon starting in the upper left-hand corner. I believe this is Shakur's Plateau. I need to... Yeah, Shakur's Plateau. I keep looking at the map initially and then forgetting what it is briefly. I'm going to say that... So we we had a new follower in chat, Waves TBSF, but apparently there's an old game called The Banner Saga Factions, which sounds incredible that I want to check out. He's declared it the best 1v1 turn-based tactics game out there. Which is quite the statement, which makes me want to try it even more. Couldn't kill chess, apparently. Kind of like StarCraft has had trouble killing a lot of the other games comparatively out in this field. But we know StarCraft's the best. I'm wondering if we, if this is like one of those other StarCraft ones out there. If anyone's played it, let me know. After this, I'm going to see if I can hunt it down. It's, I mean, it's multiplayer though, so it might, hopefully it has a single player to try it out. Go ahead and expunge that thought. Also, I should probably mention as we're moving into this match, I do have a Discord out there. Maybe I'll remember to link it. I just finally added the obligatory memes channel. I feel like Discord is... How do I put this? I came from the... Uh, boomer. Uh, came from the era where... Uh, oh, that's unfortunate. Waves lets me know it's been taken off Steam. That makes me weep now. 12th hatch, by the way. Here we're seeing a barracks down for Dark Matter rather than, rather than a 12 Nexus, which or 12 or 14 CC rather than an early CC. A risky build sometimes you can pull off on Shakur's Plateau. Initial drone scout is moving out to the upper right, so we're seeing a counterclockwise scout for Art of Turtle. And this Overlord's going to get scouted, perhaps, by Halcyon? No, he's not moving back across, but he will be able to get the, the follow-up scout. And actually sent out a second SCV. That's unfortunate he didn't see the Overlord to be able to uh, change position. I think now that he sees the Overlord, he's yet yeah, bringing that SCV back. Really wants that early scouting information, which makes me wonder if he's going to go for an early bust or aggression in this match. Extractor... Spawning pool equivalently down for Arter Turtle, so he's doing his common thing. The thing is, is Arter Turtle, thus far when he's played, he's gone very light on the early Zerglings, so it is possible with that lack of scouting information that an early bust could be very valuable. Could be very, very strong. We'll see. Marine near the ramp with the SCV coming along. I'm curious what this SCV is up to along the corner. Maybe he's going to go for a command center as a follow-up. The drone not able to disrupt it. Might be able to deny, so not able to deny the information of like, hey, there's a command center rather than just straight barracks build. But with that marine in place, that drone isn't really going to risk going after that SCV and is going to go ahead and back things off. One of these days, I would like to see Art of Turtle go a little bit more aggressive with the Zerglings just because I feel like, yeah, as MO thus far, getting some initial damage here. Doing a good job boxing out that SCV. Um, it feels like one, if I was going to say, hey, there's a flaw in your game, it's that he seems to have trouble taking care of the initial SCV scout. Um, in this match. Uh, gets initial damage, maybe because of just the amount of Zerglings he's produced, maybe because of later Zergling speed. He is upgrading Zergling speed right now, but is otherwise droning. Uh, anyway, but yeah, go to, uh, not hopping back a topic. Join my Discord if you would like. I feel like being a, a boomer game player, back in the day it was like there were servers, right? And there were forums attached to those servers, but now it seems like it's Discord communities absolutely everywhere. And there are a lot of great Discord communities for Brood War, but out of all the Discord communities I see, it's kind of like there's a flavor of them. There's like a there's always the chat channel, of course, like looking for game channel. There's it seems to be obligatory D and D channels across a lot of them. And then uh, on top of there's always like a memes channel, right? So I just added a memes channel to my Discord. If you got good memes, paste them there. I'm almost tempted. I've got enough channels where I'm like these are some quality memes. Seeing two hatch spire, by the way. So it looks like we are seeing maybe another. Push towards Crazy Zerg. This uh, SCV making its way out now that it's down to 5 health. But if you got a lot of... I, I'm tempted. Drone getting the kill. Power drone. Spit acid out there. Marines backing off after... I think they got... And did they get an initial kill? No. We're looking to see if there is an Overlord Scout or something else out there. Found nothing and going to head back up. Th third barracks placed down. We do have that stim being upgraded. And everything else, you know... Kind of transitioning and a drone looks like it's going to plant that the drone that got the kill the drone that was the hero going to go ahead and plop 
an initial expansion in that upper right corner. Zergling's taking position. Just to go ahead, and I think part of this is twofold. One, to keep an eye. Ooh, is he going to try to sneak in underneath, seeing that there's an empty front door? Getting an SCV kill. They need to back off here, though. Otherwise, they're just going to get wiped out. This is, a what, seven Zerglings? A decent threat. Compsat station plopping down. Medic Marines in place. I like what Artur Turtle's done. He's kind of like, okay, there's a little, little bit here in this build, so let me go ahead and buy time. And the, and the Marine... The Marines having some distraction to at least deal with. Five Mutalists are going to be on the way shortly. Wants to preserve these Zerglings because the Zerglings really make... And you can see, I actually like it as well. Because with these Zerglings with speed as a threat, that also forces these Marines to play a little bit more defensively. He's hoping to do a little bit of a catch on the ramp. Does get one Marine, but loses several of his Zerglings. And unfortunately, I feel like he's leading Halcyon a bit with these Zerglings towards that third rather than keeping them back. I think he's also trying to threaten a backstab right here and if he was a little bit more patient with it once these mills got here he might be able to just kind of jump on this attack force two fire bats wandering their way across several medic marines um, on the field but i don't think these fire bats are well maybe they'll be able to just walk into that natural expansion because there aren't any something colonies up just yet plenty of turrets however to push back these mutalisks Entering just as that finished, the Medic Marine Force regathering. Just going to rely on turrets and reinforcements to push the Mutalisks back. And Art of Turtle is going to be able to see this Marine Medic Marine Force as he's coming across. So that might provoke some Sunken Colonies. But the Sunken Colonies are going to come pretty late. And did we lose one Firebat already? One Firebat in the bottom left-hand corner. Not sure what it was doing there. Usually you have the Firebat here to go for a bust on the front. And it's there to go ahead and absorb some damage. It looks like an Overlord got caught in open field. Art Turtle seems to have trouble keeping his overlords as well, alive as well. Zergling's able to get on top of this with the Mutalisks, but not quite enough. And I think, was a Mutalisk taken out? I don't think a Mutalisk was taken out, but a little bit of an overstone by Halcyon. He's now backing off. I think that Firebat got taken out in open field as well. So producing two Firebats, losing some of these Medic Marines, honestly, I think a little bit on overstimming and just not having a full grouping. But Artichurl, able to get that third base up, hasn't quite gotten his gas in position, has all sorts of lurkers morphing on his front, so in a nice defensive position, and he's been able to clean, even though he's losing his Mutalisk, lost his Mutalisk, was able to clean a Medic Marine Force out, but with reinforcements, he might be in a bit of trouble, because this, this bulk of reinforcements without any lurkers in the upper right corner could do some damage if they were aware of it. It's a large enough map that it, I don't think it'll make a difference. So, kind of want to see... Yeah, just comps out of the front right there, it looks like. Sees the lurkers out. So maybe worried about whole position lurkers. Five additional barracks. Or sorry, two additional barracks for a total of five being planted. We also have a starport being built. Waiting for... Actually plopping down a machine shop. So wants to transition into potentially siege tank as a tech switch. I'm not sure that's going to pay off here, though. I have not seen that work many times against this style of build. We have three missile turrets on an Art of Turtle aggressively diving into the three bunkers. Are the Marines even going to be able to get to the bunkers, though? So two Marines get into the lower bunker. Comsat going up, but kind of a piecemeal attack force coming in from the south, plus a single Mutalisk engaging from down below. So that those Medic Marines getting wiped out. And I believe there's detection on that corner from that missile turret. No, I take it back. There's no detection from this corner, so... There's an additional compsat. The lurker is now backing off, but all sorts of attack forces just wiped out, and a, oh, a lurker just barely surviving there. SEVs trying to keep this alive on the on the corner. Hive tech now being upgraded, but Auto Turtle being not living up to his name, being very aggressive with these attacks. Something new to his game that I've seen recently. Another bunker plopping down for Halcyon because he's in survival mode at this stage. Five barracks continuing to produce medic marines. He is getting a siege tank out. This is slowing down science vessels greatly, though. Just now finishing his science facility. And so he's locked in his base, which, honestly, Art of Turtle could grab another two bases off of this with the map control he has. A little bit behind in supply, but is making it up for it in just tech. Got that evolution chamber plopping down. And as far as weapons upgrade, we still see level one weapons just... We'll be online in, in just a little while for Dark Matter. And this is very late. And these medics again on strike. They're just uh, hanging out, having a cigarette, discussing 
different types of shields. The medics have been a real problem. Now gathering up. Mostly ignoring these zerglings. Finally uh, saying like, okay, I guess we should get back to home base. So Siege Tank out on the front. Uh, Dark Matter playing more turtle-ish than Art of Turtle is. First Science Vessel will be out momentarily. Siege Tank still upgrading. But Art of Turtle now at Hive, getting the Defiler Mound out. And with the map positioning right now, you got a bunch of Lurkers and some Lings near that natural expansion. If Art of Turtle just holds these back and can keep them alive, you will basically be able to just start plopping Swarm on this natural expansion and, and the Siege Tanks I don't think will be sufficient. Starting to push this back, Unseeged Tanks do range Lurkers with detection because obviously you need to be able to see them to hit them. Halcyon just very carefully, cautiously playing this. Some Zerglings planted in case an, ex an expansion was being snuck. And you can see those Lurkers, yeah, unburrowing and pulling back as this is happening. Defiler Mount is up. Consume is being researched. Tanks sieging, but this is honestly too slow, in my opinion. Nidus Canal is up in the upright in corner. We provide some defense right there. And so basically Halcyon might get a Lurker. He's like damaging a Lurker. I like what... Art of Turtle's doing is just kind of slow playing this, forcing the tanks to kind of burrow, you know, engage, disengage. Does need to build some sort of attack force to engage this. This, I believe a Defiler will be out in time to deal with this. The question is, is will Consume be finished in time? So there's a Defiler. It's two Defilers waiting on Consume. I don't think this attack force with Dark... Okay, here's the thing. With Dark Swarm, this army gets obliterated. Without Dark Swarm, this army might be very, very dangerous. And that science vessel, never mind, is going to get taken out. There's a comp sap, but the lurchers can go ahead and back off and re-engage. Is there another? Looks like there is. No, a dropship's on the way to go ahead and re-engage this. But it's flying across mid-map. I believe Art of Turtle should be able to see this. Does he see it? Okay, sees a hint of it. Is he going to be able to get in position to deal with it is the next question. So a button. it looks like he's not responding. We have some zerglings being built. That's not going to be sufficient. And this drop going to make it into the main while Arbitral's dealing with... He was just distracted by these siege tanks on the front. Drones getting wiped out at the main. And they're working on that defiler mount. That's a huge pickoff. Huge pickoff. Okay, swarm dropped. Mounds down. That can quickly be rebuilt. Decent defense. But this is going to be critical is to keep these defilers alive out on the front while this army is lurking out here. For Art Turtle, Art Turtle, or the, the unit's trying to swing around. It looks like that dropship moving back out. Might want to try to load up these troops here and go for another attack. Art Turtle's still sitting on three bases. Nine o'clock base is now being established by, by Halcyon while all of this harassment and attack is happening. Art Turtle not feeling like he wants to make any moves while that dropship's in play. And while that Defiler Mound's down, more, more critically. Carapace 1 is up. Carapace 2 is upgrading. It looks like Dark Matter making his way to the upper right-hand corner. He will need a dropship to breach this because this is three lurkers kind of hanging over that ramp. It looks like another Overlord is going to get caught out in open field. That's not going to put Arter Turtle in the red. But right now, Halcyon in good position. He's macroed very, very well. He's got a sizable medic marine force. He's got the siege tanks. He's alive. Where he's behind is, is in the overall tech. He's gotten that 9 o'clock base up, and he's a little bit light on... He's way light on science vessels, is really the critical thing. Has two starports there. Needs to really pump the science vessel count up to make it happen. He's positioning to go ahead and deny that 3 o'clock. Another science vessel rejoining this attack grouping. Some lurkers taking some damage in that defiler. Going to get wiped out. Kind of a critical moment as the defiler mound is just back up to reproduce some additional lurkers. Another swarm as that defiler was wiped out, and it looks like Dark Matter not responding to the four pressed Dark Swarm and losing a handful of marines. Science Vessels moving up, going to go ahead and irradiate the lurkers. I had honestly saved that irradiate for potential additional defilers. But Ultralisk Cavern is up. An additional fourth base is being grabbed from Arter Turtle. That's going to be four gas, and if he can get his drone count up, He's going to be dangerous. And Arter Turtle, yeah, just slow playing it at this stage. I worry about Halcyon's lack of... And he's producing more dropships. So he's going to—he's going basically 
The thing with going drop chips is, is you need to make sure those drop chips get something accomplished. Speaking of drops, we have a drop in the main. Defiler is there to engage it. So this drop not really getting anything accomplished. Keep in mind, with this drop chip, oh, gonna drop some more medic marines than the defiler actually, I think, scooted out there. We're gonna see another. The scourge gonna go ahead and take that drop ship out. <clears throat> but this is gonna get a handful of drones. Not sure much else. This is annoying more than anything. Science Hustle's moving up, doing a couple of radiates to try to clear up this front. It looks like that the lurkers up on that upper ramp have been denied. So at least Halcyon doing some decent economic damage in the midst of this. But on top of that economic damage, some Scourge not quite able to get on top of the Science Vessels. But on top, but for long-term play, really what he needs is he needs to yeah keep that Science Vessel count high. Although if he continues with these drops, and these drops continue to be effective, and then continue to shut Art of Turtles' economy down... He might end up winning the game, because our turtle's effectively at two base right now. Some Zerglings running across. This reminds me of uh, Spears, if you've ever seen Band of Brothers. Zerglings and Lurkers just walking right across. No biggie. Defiler plopping some swarm from above. Lurker moving forward, finally clearing out one last Marine. The drone's going to attack here? The drone's going to be heroes and finally attack here, but that's two additional drones down for Arter Turtle. So Halcyon... Continuing to build, continue to macro up, continue to get his army gathered. He's level 2 weapons, level 1 armor, which is a nice position to be in, but he's got he's going up against level 2 carapace. Artichurl does have his Ultralisk cavern up, but doesn't quite have the economy to make the Ultralisks run. Diving in, getting some a lot of the science vessels down. No swarm with these lurkers. Another science vessel down, and actually now there's no detection, so those siege tanks need to get wiped out. But another drop moving forward. There's already a lurker in play. Another two lurkers in play. To go ahead and deal with that attack force. It looks like they're going to try to work on that Spire. Two Scourge going to drive into that. Well, nope. They're not going to be able to get that Science Vessel. I'm not sure the Spire is the best thing to take. But more dropships moving into the upper right. Is Arter Turtle going to realize this? He already had Lurkers in place. Plus a bunch of Ultralisks in place to deal with this. But, ugh. This is the problem with Arter... Ugh. We've seen this. I've seen this several times for Arter Turtle. Overlords out of position getting just donated uh, midfield. And that's a lot of minerals to lose. Lost his evolution chamber here to the south. It looks like the lurker's not quite able to clean this up because there's, with the one lurker, it's not enough to deal with this attack force. But, um, well, let's go ahead and back off. <laughs> it's still going to be GG though. Play. Still going to be GG though. Speed up. Because Arter Turtle still has enough Ultralisks and there's just not enough science vessels and honestly not enough. Uh, bulk otherwise to deal with what's left out in the field. So the overlords get donated. What I'm waiting for is these ultralists to move across. I was waiting to show you guys the ultralists on the front. So the drops get, they only get this. But here's the problem there weren't enough science vessels to soften up the. Uh, so this drop doesn't get anything done. And I think, yeah, upon seeing the ultra, does he just GG right here? So this gets cleaned up. This attack force is basically all that's out there. Another command center being built looks like bottom left, but here's here's the counter here. This is what I was waiting to shift to before, but there was an instant GG as soon as it showed up on the front. We have just Marines and one bunker here. You've got Lurkers making their way across with the Defiler and the Ultralisks. And as soon as, yeah. And it looked like Halcyon just didn't feel like, okay, I'm not going to be able to fight this off basically. Which, you might have had a shot at it, but, uh, yeah. Closing it off right there. So I believe that is game here. We will see Art of Turtle in the winner's match. We'll see Halcyon in the loser's match. For people on Twitch, I will cast that Thursday. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.